Hi everyone, welcome back to One Touch BI. My name is Saravanan Vajravel, and today I am going to show you in detail the IBM Cognos Connection user interface for IBM Cognos Analytics 11.1.0 release 6. The intent of this video is for the people who are coming from Cognos 8x to the Cognos 10x or 11x. In that case, some of the familiar objects which they used with Cognos 8x version, how do you find them with Cognos 11x version? That's the end goal of this video. Let's quickly jump into my system to see the interface in detail. Launch IBM Cognos connection by clicking on Chrome browser. Input your user credential. Login. And this will be your new IBM Cognos 11.1.6 user interface. And this is the welcome page. If one wants to see the Cognos version of this IBM Cognos connection portal, all you need to do is in the right top, there is an icon called head and shoulder. Click on that personal menu. Click on about, you will get the version number. Click close. Let me quickly walk through on this interface and then I will move on to the next section. In the right top, you have a question mark. This is nothing but help. In the previous version, when you're working with IBM Cognos 8x, if you want to seek some help related to the list report or crossstop report or anything related to the IBM Cognos, you need to open either a separate browser, I would say a Google window, and then put your search context and then get the help from there. That is no more required. You can go to the help window and in the search box, you can input the required help topics. Let's say I'm going to search related to cross tab. Enter. This will fetch all information related to the cross tab. You can click on any of the article, get the help in the same window. And then we have the head and shoulder, that personal menu. Click on that. Here you can go to the direct my schedules and subscription against the user who logged in. So in my case, I have logged in with admin credential. So who's that user logged in? You can see by clicking on the personal menu, the admin is the person who logged in. And against the admin credential, if you have any report schedule, you can see them over here by clicking on them, my schedule and subscriptions. And if you want to close this window, in the center top, the drop down, click on the close. And then you have the my preference. If you want to customize your user interface, that product language, content language, you can define it under my preference. And next we have a personal icon under the my preference menu itself. Over here under advanced, if in case, your user credential is expired. In that case, how do you renew the user credential? By default, the credentials, what you logged in and schedule the report will be retained for 90 days. Anything goes beyond 90 days, you need to renew it manually. Okay, so for that, you need to come to that head and shoulder menu. Click on my preference, personal tab, and at advanced, you will have the menu called renew, credentials renew. And now I have logged in with admin account. If you want to know the admin account belongs to what groups and roles, you can click on the groups and roles, view details, you will find all that information. My capabilities is nothing but what are the permissions are being granted to access in the IBM Cognos. All this I can able to access using the admin privilege. We have covered everything over here. And the last one, what we have is on the top right notification. If any report has been scheduled and is, it will be notified over here. Okay. And let's come to the left side, the home page at any given time. If you are in the my content, if you want to go back to the home page, you can click on the home. 
search is used to search the specific object if you don't remember the complete path of the report or any object for instance i have a report which is residing under my content but i don't remember the path but i know the report name in that case i can go to the search and type the report name as you type the uh, letters one after another it will start finding a pattern and go and search in the entire content store so based on the value i type just four characters i type it is finding the closest match and you can choose the one which you want the moment you choose anything with execution history or anything which is having a combination of execution or history or any any part of the text all that will be fetched here over here you can go and locate the report that you are interested this window can be further resizable and my content is something very specific to the user who logged in so in this case i have logged in with admin credential i can see a report execution history by user this is only accessible for the admin user because this my content is exclusive for that user if anyone who logged in with other user credential he cannot see this report that means the my content is complete a private window team content is nothing but it's a public folder in cognos 8x version and my content is my folder so the team content anything you keep over here this is common for all the users whoever is logging in he will have access to the team content and the recent is whatever reports you opened in the recent time all that history you can find it in the recent even in the welcome page you can see their most recent report by scrolling down you can see them in tile view or in the list view the next what we have is manage under manage you can click on the administration console which is remains same as cognos 8x admin console this window is not changed in terms of interface it remains same but down the line this administration can be completely decommissioned since they are partially taken care as part of the main cognos interface the ibm cognos administration is being retained as it is the reason they are not completely migrated to the new interface and that's the reason they kept the classical interface of ibm cognos admin till date i will show what are the things they have taken care as part of the main interface and what is that that is still hanging with administration window let this window open in the new tab go back to the home page of the ibm cognos connection click on the people under people you will see accounts capabilities contacts this is nothing but in the administration window under security user groups and roles is nothing but accounts okay and capabilities is nothing but the capabilities what you see over here both are remain same under configuration you have a distribution list and contact this is nothing but contacts over here under people so as you see they have clubbed few things and kept it under as part of the people but it's not complete migration of the administration i'll show them what is that missing and then you have the information related to the content management you can export import the content here you can export the content entire content store and import the entire content store using the restore option but if you want to export partially some of the specific content as part of the team content in that case you cannot do using the content management you need to go to the admin console click on the configuration content administration over here you can do all these actions that's the reason they have maintained both administration as well as the main the new interface okay and the configuration you can control the system level like the appearance how many uh, items per page in accounts you can show it 
200, 300, all that you can define. Do you want to enable the legacy Cognos UI? That you can control over here. And similarly on the security front, if you want to redirect the URL, the moment anyone who logs in here, if you want to redirect this page to some other page, you can define it everything under security. So all this you can do it using the configuration system. Routing rules is nothing but you have 10 packages. The package one, you want to completely dedicate any of the package one related activity like reports, dashboard, or any information which is relied based on the package one that should be executed on a specific dispatcher that you can control using the routing rules. Customization is nothing but how do you want to customize your Cognos connection user interface. If you noticed while I log in, you would have seen this one touch BI, the user interface. This login page I customized using the customization window. Click on the manage under customization. What I have done, I have added an extension called sample login multiple. And that if you want to uh, see a preview, click on the views. Click on sample login multiple and preview it. This is the way I have customized. So I have a separate video on this topic. How to customize your multi-tenant login URL. If you see that video, you will come to know how, how I have customized this window. Okay. So basically the customization allows you to customize the look and feel of your IBM Cognos homepage. And multi-tenancy is the one where you can configure the multi-tenant part. It is available in the administration as multi-tenancy tab. This is taken care of over here. You can either use the modern interface or you can go to the classical interface. And admin console, you know, that's the one which we invoke to get the classical interface. As you see, there are about 50% features. We are still dependent on the administration, the classical interface. That's why they are not removed it until they bring all these features as part of the modern interface. Until then, this utility will remain unchanged. Last section, what we have is the new. Using new, you can access the report author. You can access the dashboard window to create a dashboard application and story is nothing but as same as the dashboard story is very similar to the powerpoint show story can have multiple uh, dashboard page which will be brought under one single story so you can just navigate from one page to another page i would say the story is more powerful if someone wants to project the multiple dashboard with single story Using a job, you can schedule the reports either in a sequential mode or run all at once. All you can control using the job. And other interface will bring the legacy uh, tools. The legacy tools, I mean to say, Cori Studio, Analysis Studio, Workspace, and Drill Through Definitions. As you see, the Chrome browser is limiting them. So what I do, I will open up Internet Explorer, copy the URL, input the credential. Now you click on the new under other you will find other missing information this is just a browser incompatible issue with chrome it is supported only with the classical explorer before i wrap up this video i will quickly show the report interface click on the report from new open the new blank report if anyone who confused with Cognos 8x world to Cognos 11, where do I see my uh, query explorer, page explorer, and conditional explorer? So all that I'll quickly you know showcase over here. 
anything which you want to navigate from query explorer to the report explorer always you need to do the report drop down icon in the top can you see this click on this it will show you all the explorer pages which earlier we used to have a vertical bar in the center okay so that is taken in the top level so click on the report the parent level you can quickly navigate page prompt pages queries if you have any queries you can find all of them over here if you want to add a new query you can drag and drop if you want to make a joiner query you can drag and drop and then take one more query you can drag and drop over here and drag and drop over here this is all as same as the cognos 8x but only thing is that options and controls are moved from the center vertical bar to the horizontal bar at the top and then again if you want to go back to the page level click on the report and click on the page this is the page design if you want to add a list object click on the list click ok and if you want to see the properties or all you need to do is ensure in the top right can you see that musical bars the show properties click on that show properties this will bring the properties window and the report formattings are now visible right above anything you choose you can see here the right above you will have all the controls related to the quick formatting you don't have to go to the properties and locate the font interface like all that you don't have to do now everything you can control over here in the top and let's go back to the query explorer the first one is the sources from the package level information will come over here and the second one is the toolbox right now there is no package i associated what i do i'll quickly associate one of the package i'm going to associate audit package okay this is the source and this is the toolbox where you can have the calculations at any point if you want to run the report you will find the play icon in the top run option you can click on that and run the report and if you want to save the report you can do it over here on the save icon if you want to go to the home page click on this it will take you to the home page and if you want to switch back to the report that you opened already you can see in the top center the welcome drop down click on the welcome drop down and click on the new report this way you can switch back to the previously opened report window and the last one is if anyone wants to validate the report all you need to do is click on the report click on the report in the top parent level and over here in the right side can you see that uh, icon more click on the more and here you have the option for validate the report okay and second uh, if anyone wants to take the xml copy of the report how do you do that because the interface is completely changed it's very simple all you need to do is again click on that the gear icon copy report to clipboard and then what you can do if you want to restore the report the one which you copy to the clipboard click on the gear icon open report from clipboard once you click on that it will say that do you want to save the existing report no anyhow i have copied it if you want to retain the old report you can save it so i'm going to say no now the report has been taken from the clipboard with this i'm going to end this recording if anyone is not subscribed my channel I request you to subscribe my channel right at the bottom of the screen until i come back with another video this is sarunan vajravel signing off from one touch bi have a good day.